Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation in a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Perfect. And you must be the new engineer. Or maybe our new gunner. Hey. Don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger.
Nice time in Aquila City. something for you. If you throw your money away, I'd be happy to take it. Otherwise, let it go already. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before? The one I think is connected to an artifact? It's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Gal Bank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Joke. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust. Nothing we can't handle. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards. We won't be able to find Solomon's maps with those robbers. Uh, yep, I was done too. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. 
they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm, I'm sure things will turn out just fine. Don't shoot. Hands where I can see them. And don't try nothing. The shark gang's making fools of us all. Everything will turn out just fine. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Oh, I'm so ready to get out of here. Oh, you want to be a hard ass, is that it? Well, I can be a hard ass too. I ain't buying it. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Part of me just wants to be rid of these people. But we need them right where they are. Marshal might take us down, but we'll take... Nice try. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. You've got my... I heard every word. If she gets hurt... He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. 
I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. What'd the marshal say? We have a deal? I guess that'd be all right. Gonna need to ditch that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Fine, but make it quick. I guess I'd feel the same if I were in your place. That's true. If you tried something, we'd take you out real quick. Make a fair point. Well, you got a point there. All right, fine. But if you so much as look at me funny, I'm sending you straight to the morgue. There, the door's unlocked. Follow me. I want to get out of here. I hate this place. I'm in here but old junk. Where's the good stuff, old man? I know you got something valuable stashed away in here. Yeah, don't yeah, you lie yeah. to me now. Mm-hmm. You don't understand. The vault is for storing priceless heirlooms and relics from Aquila City's proud history. Yes. Shut up! <sighs> yes. I'm wasting my time and I'm sick of it! I'm gonna count to five. You... Should have been long gone by now. Well, I see your parents didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. Take it easy. Can't never coming back. Uh, figure something would go wrong on the first job. Myself get talked into this. It's almost over. Just gotta keep it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
so damn tired. Waste not, need not. Good night. Hit the deck. Got the marshal by the ball. You all right? Sometimes you can't. I wish it were otherwise. Don't know if it'll mean much to you, but you've got my gratitude. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Solomon was from an earlier generation. So it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles. Paper is what we're after. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this? <sighs> Maybe. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Sorry, I'm such a... All right. Shall we?
think my family was on the first ship. Looks like we got another off-worlder. Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? <laughs> and what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. And you wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Yeah, the way you handle things... Not bad. Not bad. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30-plus years' experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What is it this time, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Not liking your attitude. Well, it's not your place to butt in. That's family business. I'm not flapping my jaw one more second over this. The answer's no. What do you want? Constellation. Yeah, that's right. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. stand here and list all of your shortcomings for you. You're better enough than you're I want the both of you out of my house.
All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Yep. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. I just gotta ask, um, why?
in my friend's truck. You're nothing. As long as there aren't any beasties, the cave can be an explorer's best friend.
Just like old times. We're in one. Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family. Is this... What are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. <laughs> 